There is absolutely no doubt that having good habits will get you extraordinary results over time. But the question is, whatever you're doing today, can you sustain it to a level that you can build it to a habit? Now, if you're someone who genuinely wants to develop rock solid habits, then this video is for you. Make sure that you watch the video till the end because there is a bonus tip which will help you to accelerate the whole process. Before getting started, make sure that you hit the like button because that motivates me to create amazing videos like this. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified every time we upload a video. So let's get started. The first, focus on the journey and not on the results. The journey is much more important than the results or what you will get when you get to that level of doing this as a habit. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because when you have your eye on the end goal, you will not be able to focus on what you're doing today because of which you will lose out that habit. For most of us, we're not able to develop a habit because we are not consistent enough to do it every single day to reach a level wherein we will accomplish ourselves. The idea is to develop a habit that is to do that work every single day in small bits and pieces so that one day it will stack up and then we will be okay with it to continue that as a habit. For example, if you want to get in shape, don't focus on getting up tomorrow early in the morning and running 10 miles because what will happen is the next day you will lose out the motivation and you won't go for the run at all thinking that Running 10 miles a day is what my target is and is what is going to be the habit. But for that, start small. Rather than 10 miles, focus on running 2 miles per day so that it can be developed into your surrounding or ecosystem which will help you to get to it into a level where you can develop a habit slowly but steadily. The second thing is know where you stand. See, it's very important and sometimes what happens is we get overwhelmed with what we are doing and when we compare ourselves with others. So you're like, my friends are able to write 2000 words per day as a content writer, but I am not also able to write 500 words per day as a quality content writer. Then what's the point, Pritham, of continuing in this journey? Because I'm still low compared to them. And that is exactly where the problem lies. This I want to tell you, and please listen to it very carefully, that don't compare someone's chapter 20 to your chapter one, right? It's very important to understand this. You have no idea that what your friend might be doing in content writing for years together. And that is the reason why he has built up an efficiency wherein he is able to write 2000 to 3000 words of quality content every day. For you, 500 is just okay because you are in the chapter one and you need to start and maintain it every single day in order to reach to that level. Most of us get overwhelmed in the starting itself and we start comparing ourselves because of which we demean ourselves, we push ourselves and we curse that we are not that good enough and that is the reason why we should not continue. And that is also exactly the reason why we leave most of our habits in between and it never transforms into a fruitful result. The third thing is frequency is the key. Now, what happens is we get so excited in order to accomplish something that the habit that we have that we try to do as much as we can on the very next day because of which it takes a toll on our mental and our physical level and that's the reason why we don't continue maybe after two or three days and hence we say that this is not for me and i am not for it but the real thing is you started with a hit and if you start with a hit you will not have the motivation to continue every single day so what's the best way is to start small start with chunk and make sure that you do it you show up every day it does not matter that how much you're able to do it or not just show up every day and that will solve most of your problems for example i started meditation first i thought that i will be able to meditate 30 minutes a day and i did that for two days <laughs> after that i left the meditation because i thought it's not something I can do because it was so much of pressure on me to sit there 30 minutes meditating. It was not possible. It was, it was not something that I used to do every single day. So I changed the strategy. I said, 
for the coming week i'm going to meditate five minutes a day that's all five minutes a day is what i will do and this is what is going to make all the difference a week later i had a target that i'm going to do 15 minutes a day and then soon within a month i was able to get to that level where i could meditate 30 minutes a day the only reason is that i was consistent enough to show up and meditate does not matter even if it was five minutes consistency will get you to that level that on the journey from where you can take yourself to the next level my friend fourth one is don't force yourself rather prepare yourself see what happens is every single time we force ourselves in order to do something we get the punch back whenever you're forcing yourself you're doing that task out of compulsion and not out of your own will because of which the chances of giving up in midway is very very high and that's what happens with most of the people so rather forcing yourself prepare yourself because when you prepare yourself you get to a mental state when you know that this is coming and you have to do it and i've already started in a small way and hence it's your obligation to complete it for example let's say you want to go to the gym and you are not feeling like to go to the gym at this point of time but what you do is you prepare yourself and you understand that it's important to go to the gym so rather pack my bag and dress up for that so when you pack your bag and dress up for that your mind gives an indication hey i've already did 30 percent why not go to the gym and do it by the way it's going to be beneficial for me only so why not go ahead and do it and that is the exact reason why preparation helps it gets you to a mental state wherein you will do it have a role model it's very important you have a long-term vision and you have a short-term vision because long-term vision will give you clarity and direction it's only when you have a clarity and direction you can put in the small efforts you're doing every single day in one particular way because that's when your energy is going to be focused on think about it if you don't have a direction if you don't know where you want to go you're going to spread the energy in all direction because of which you won't be able to build a great habit and hence it will fail rather doing that understand that where you want to go have a role model and then plan accordingly plan for weekly monthly and yearly because when you go into the chunks of weekly monthly and yearly you have set a clear direction for yourself that this is what i want to achieve and this is what my targets are and for achieving my targets what are the things that i have to do when you ask these questions to yourself you'll get the result for your own self so if you're watching the video till now then let me know in the comment section that what habit you're trying to develop which will help you to grow exponentially in the future before getting to the bonus tip make sure that you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can get notifications every time so the bonus tip is focus on one habit not on 10. see what happens is sometimes we get so excited that we try to do this part as well and some part of that as well we try to focus on our health as well on our studies as well at the same time you want to earn money as well you want to learn a new skill as well so when you're trying to build so many habits together it's like getting punched from 10 different people at the same time and they will keep punching you till the time you give up and you quit and that is the reason why to stay motivated to literally achieve what you really want to do it focus on one habit and then gradually once you've completed that go to the next skill or the next habit that you want to achieve and then master that i hope that you liked this video and this video was useful to you make sure that you follow me on instagram at pritambhadra06 wherein i help and engage with my followers on a day-to-day -day basis see you soon in the next video